This is AMD on the five minute time frame. I'm gonna give you price targets for Tuesday. We ended the week at $166.36, up 3.70%. This is where we ended. To the north side takes us to resistance and a potential take profit area at roughly 169.27. And at three standard deviations, roughly 171.72. To the south side, back at the middle of the trend and the baseline. And from where we are, support and a potential take profit area, 164.37. And below that, at negative two standard deviations and a potential buy in area, 159.46. And at negative three standard deviations, roughly 157.09. The blue line right here is VWAP. That takes us back to 165.33. And note the sell signal right here. As I have mentioned before, there are many levels in between negative two and two standard deviations, which is what I play. But if you turn on your VWAP, your Bollinger Bands, draw trend lines, you'll get other buy and sell signals as well. But I'm not a buyer of AMD until it hits down here. I play pretty conservatively and I don't like to get in unless there's a lot more margin available for me. But this is not something I would get into, but some people would, they'd wait for the VWAP and then hopefully ride it up. But I like to wait closer to this level and below. And I am in AMD. And let me clean up this chart while I'm here, but note I turned on the bot this time as well, the clear sell signal and the buy signals at support. Now I have not talked about AMD in a long time, but there was a gap here. We gapped up and we touched right here. So I will delete that. That is no longer a threat to our account to the south side. Done. Right, and then we bounced off of that. There's this gap. So I will anticipate price to potentially return back to this area. We are in a downward channel, as you can see on the five minute time frame. Obviously, if you flip it to the different time frames, you are again are again going to get different buy and sell signals, but I anticipate price to eventually get down to 153.11. Could take a while, but the possibility is there. And what do we have here? I have another gap that I never marked out. I'm gonna flip this to the 15 minutes so I can see this just a little bit better. Option R. Oh, I previously sold AMD at 142. If you play the long game, you make more money just like real estate. But when I trade, I get in and I get out unless it's an ETF and I just let that ride. But anything else, I don't keep. I figure my, AT, my ETF already has it. So I'm gonna extend this out and we touched right there. So that was to the upside at roughly 158.48. And this gap here, we touched right there to the south side, tanked even more. See that? And then back down to support and note the buy signal. From the bot. And this one needs to be cleaned up as well. And we touched to the upside right there. So that's done as well. So let me move that out of the way. I think it touched right up, roughly right there. If I remove the VWAP, it'll be clearer, but I'm not gonna take that out. Just leave that there for now. And then we had this gap that I was tracking and look at that. We touched right here. Boom. Ran up just a little bit more, hit resistance, and look at, triggered the sell because we are at resistance. 
and that high right there, 167.66, but we made it there to, oh, that was a different, previously at 170.43 and ran up, but now we're at once, oh, the high of the day was 167.66. All right, let me get rid of that. I mean, I have so many gaps that I have not cleaned up. All right, delete, delete. All right, all the black, uh, the back black background are price our prices on the day that I did a recording. And look, I've got to clean this up too, but I'll do that at a different time. I'm going to flip this really quickly to the daily time frame, And I'm still in this trade. I sold out a bunch of AMD shares at different levels, but I kept the ones that I got that I picked up for 7388 and 7645. This one I bought at one. I the pink lines are my buy lines. So I bought in at roughly here at 10653, 11018, and then I sold up here in the green lines. I need to clean up the charts. Everything that you see in the red is are gaps to the south side. Anything in green are gaps to the upside. That's just a visual cue for me. When I just glance at this very quickly, I know what it all means, even though it looks like a hot mess. And then the horizontal lines are my support and resistance lines that I also mark out. But what's going on? So I track that at 93 there, 106, 98. Oops. So that's AMD. Now the next stock I want to go over very quickly on the five minute time frame. Let me flip that back. I'm going to go over FFIE. It's been in the news lately just because it ran so much previously up to here. See that? All right, first I'm going to give you price targets. Do one thing at a time here. We ended the week at 116. Down 2.52%. Now the price targets for you for Tuesday, since Monday is a holiday. To the north side, resistance takes us to 136 and 147. To the south side, back at the middle of the trend and the baseline, 111, 87 cents roughly, and 75 cents. I don't think we'll tank that, that far in one day on Tuesday, but within negative two and two standard deviations all day long. All right, note the sell signals at resistance, the red line there sell sell and what I like to do buy along this line this line or at negative four standard deviations which I did not turn on because typically you don't get to negative four standard deviations or four if you are negative four if you're up here there's no way you're going to get down to negative four unless something crashes or we wick to the south side and then it gets bought up quickly but from here we potentially could get to four standard deviations but I don't know I wouldn't bank on it and then up here, note your sell signal from the bot as well. Now, it's been a very long time since I have tracked this stock. And I looked at it. Let me just go to the daily. Apparently I was tracking it when it was $5.29 back in December of 2021, I don't know what happened. The chart got wonky here. The yellow lines are the previous price targets. Note the fall from grace. It's like sometimes you really just can't trust the analysts. So 
it tanked and look now we're at a dollar 16 it's it's sad but where did I let me see if I can find this on the monthly oh there we go back on December of 2021 on the 18th I looked at tip ranks forecast the average is ten dollars and wallstreetzen.com's average forecast was 18 and look at where we are now not looking good but makes it makes for a nice scalping trade or perhaps a short swing trade but note we are going down on the five minute time frame And now I'm going to go over Ross. It's been a while since I've tracked this one. Okay, on the five minute to the north side takes us to 148.37, 151-ish and 87 cents. We're at the middle of the trend basically. 134.99 and One thirty one ninety three takes us to negative four standard deviations and that gap closes out there as well. Note the clear sell signal at resistance here, the buy at support. And just for giggles, I'm going to mark this out. That is, let's do that line. This is going to be the middle of the trend. So price is either going to fall, follow the green line, wherever that green line may be, or we consolidate and go sideways. So that's what, what I like to mark out for myself. And let's take a look at Ross on the daily. It's been a long time since I looked at this one as well, but clearly there was a gap here that closed out. I will clean this up with you. Right there, we touched to the south side, no longer a threat to our accounts. We fell even more and then went up. So that's done. And there was a gap here, a small one on the daily, looks a little different. Oh, we touched here, so let me remove that. Yeah, when I don't make videos for these tickers, I forget to go back and clean up the gaps. Let's take a look at this on the monthly. What's been going on? So we cracked here at a crucial area, 70, and then fell down and now we're trying to attempt another run here. But my linear does not look good on the monthly time frame with this. It looks like a hot mess. But there you are. So apparently the last time I looked at it was $119. So on the monthly time frame, let's check this out. Our range is to the north side, 157.36, and to the south side, roughly 108.78. Fingers crossed we don't tank that far and that fast down there. Okay, the one-year price target is 163.82, which represents a 15% return from where we are. And on the daily, see look how wonky that went because I moved it to a different time frame. It drives me bonkers with TradingView. Bonkers. All right, reset option R. On the daily here to the north side takes us back to 146.22 and two standard deviations, 158.96 and 165.75. And this is 133.26 and 126.95.
so that's AMD, Ross, and, oh, FFIE. I'm going to do one more just for giggles into it. This is the daily time frame. We're at 606.99. We are at support. I will anticipate once we possibly touch down here, curve around, and then a run up. Now, to the north side at two standard deviations on the daily takes us to 623.98 and back at the middle of the trend, 675.38. And two standard deviations a long ways away, 728.15. I'm shocked that the buy bot didn't come on. Note the buy, sell, sell, that would, be, would have been my sell targets as well. And when was the last time I looked at this? Let me take this to the monthly. Well, I guess I haven't. Huh, I felt like I had looked at into it on the monthly. Or maybe I just did it for myself and I never thought it was a good buy-in, but now I'm liking it that it tanked. So the one-year price target on this puppy is 709.24. Let me go over to the five-minute time frame and give you some targets for Tuesday. So here is a gap. We gap down. I will anticipate a gap up whenever we should fill. But we are going down on the five-minute time frame. 606.99, let me change that. All right, and mark my gaps. All right, now for your price targets to the middle of the trend and resistance and a potential take profit area, 617.83. A gap forms to the upside at 624.09, 650.46. The gap closes at 662 and 667.09 to the south side. Oh, I have, that's not, what the heck is that? So I cannot be moving from different time frames because it makes my chart wonky. What was that? What the heck? Oh, I guess 606 was the last time I looked at this thing. All right. I knew I... Wait, no, 606. That's what I just marked. All right. That was for the daily. Let me go back to the five minute and clean this up. Let me just delete this one. There we go. Well, apparently I didn't go over it for you guys, but I've looked at this for myself. All right, let's do this again. 583.76 and 567.64. All right, that is a look at AMD. FFIE, Ross, and Intuit. Have a great trading day.